So let's see. I've got a mic. I've got a clicker. I've got notes. So uh, when you go to find information, there are generally two ways that you do it. Uh, the first is you go to a search engine and you browse through a number of web pages until you get the results you're looking for. And the second way is that you actually ask someone. And uh, there are obviously benefits to both. When you ask someone, you can specify exactly the context of your question and they generally know you, they can look at you, they can size you up, they can tailor their response uh, to what you need. Now, traditionally, there hasn't been any product way that you can ask someone, at least not the people that you're connected to. And that's really what Aardvark is. It's a way to get real-time answers on demand from the right individual from your network. And we've taken a lot of cues from uh, search products and their growth over sort of the era from 95 till today. Uh, specifically, they emerged as the best way to find information online when there was a critical mass of content available that could be indexed. And part of the reason why we were uh, excited to start the company and motivated to leave Google, which is an amazing place to work, and work on a very different kind of search problem was that Facebook platform had come out. And we saw that as the beginning of a wave that would allow us to index a critical mass of people online. So uh, let me just sort of go through. If, if before you could search the web uh, manually and suddenly a search engine came along and you could do it better, uh, now you're able to take this problem, which is how do you ask your friends, how do you ask the right friends, and really make it an efficient, easy process. And the reason why we can do that is because there's a critical mass of people online in your network that we can index. And so all of that built up profile and social graph data, as well as the real-time presence information of who's available online on what channel, lets us get you an answer to whatever you ask with the full context and, uh, and detail that you can put into a natural language query. So one of the things that's important for us is that in the same way that if you're looking for information from a web page, it makes a lot of sense that you would go to a website and parse through a bunch of results in your browser. If you want information from people, if you want to interact with another human being, you should be able to do that in the channels of communication that you already use. So we created Aardvark as a contact. It's available in IM, email, Twitter, mobile, on all of the communication channels that you already use to talk to friends. And so now if I could go to the computer on the stage. So this, for me, is my Aardvark experience. I talk to it in IM. I can basically open up a chat client and say something like, What's a great romantic restaurant in Boston will be the first time I see my girlfriend in too long, ideally around Cambridge with good food and fairly fancy. And now, uh, putting my life a little bit in the system's hands, we'll fire this off and see if it gets categorized and answered correctly in the time I've got left. So uh, if we can go back to the presentation. So the nice thing here is that I'm able to use Aardvark the same way as I would use a, a, a real person that's the right resource for me. And you absolutely do have people that you can turn to. That said, about the breadth of topics that you might ask about, it's generally pretty cumbersome to be out there on everyday issues sort of asking someone. And when it works best is when you have some sort of intermediary, someone that can not only say, you know what, this is the person that you should talk to for this topic, but also who can intermediate that conversation and facilitate it, make it happen, bear the social cost for you and make that sort of a frictionless experience for the people involved. And so that's what Aardvark does here. On the back end, it's actually 
initiating conversations with people, making sure that they want to opt in in the moment to interact with me, knowing who I am, how I'm connected to them, and what I'm asking about. And in selecting those people, it's not sort of putting the question up somewhere and allowing those who want to answer most, those who sort of yell loudest, to take more than their fair share. It's actually selecting people individually and doing what an ideal human being can do and say, you know what, I'm not going to get you the answer from the person that likes to answer most. I'm going to get you an answer from the person that I believe is best going to be able to match your taste, your context, and give you an answer in the moment. So if we can go back to the uh, computer. So what's Aardvark actually doing? Well, it's taking the questions that are coming to it over any one of these communication channels. It's recognizing who's asking. It's recognizing what their question is about. And then it's in real time indexing and ranking all of the people that they're connected to according to whether or not they're going to be able to provide fast, high-quality answers to this question from this person. And then it's getting their responses. And in so doing, it's intelligently moving down that list until you get what you're looking for as an asker. In particular, we're able to answer about 90% of questions, and about 50% of them are answered in under five minutes. Can we go back to the presentation? So there's two things that get us incredibly excited at Aardvark. One is that the amount of knowledge in people's heads is way, way larger than the amount of author content online will ever be. And second, that you have tens of thousands of friends of friends, classmates, coworkers, people whose opinions you would trust, people who have a latent interest to help you and connect with you. And because of the fact that in the last five years, enough people have come online, they've created profiles for themselves, they've made themselves available throughout the day, we can actually access and tap that resource. So to make sure that all of that structured and unstructured data is indexed, and in the moment to rank the tens of thousands of people that might be able to answer one question or another from you, according to whether they'll be responsive and how well they match not only the topic but your demographics and tastes, that's a really fascinating search problem for us. And it's the reason why the majority of the company is coming out of the search space. And it's also the reason why we think there's a very, very long road ahead. So uh, it's taken our team of about 20 engineers and machine learning PhDs almost two years to get to where we are. That said, we reached sort of a tipping point later in the summer where the percent of questions that got answered shot up, the time in which it took to answer questions dropped, and the quality of answers that people were getting stayed high. So let me go back to the computer. And I will certainly look at whether or not I've gotten my question answered. To give the system a little bit more time, actually, I see now in chat that I got an answer. Um, and this comes back to me in chat. It can come back on my iPhone. It can come back in email. You see total convergence across uh, all of the different devices. And here, uh, Bradley Y, who's in the Yale group with me, so this is an alum, gave his recommendation for one place. Um, and I also got additional answers, which I can go look up online and see not only who's this coming from and what did they say and carry on the conversation, but see more context about them. Their Facebook profile, their LinkedIn profile, their blog, their profile in Aardvark. And, and what we've done is create something that is a switchboard that can take advantage of all that data that's coming from everywhere, both the structured information, like in your Facebook profile, as well as, excitingly, the unstructured information, your continuous tweets, your status messages, your use of the system. And, uh, and so that's Aardvark. My time's done, and thank you very much.